Okay. So this is a tutorial for Super Adventure Pass any percent. Right now I am the only runner. So without further ado, before we start, you, maybe you can change your quality to low before we actually start the run. And let's start a new game. So timing should start when you confirm your control scheme. So let's go. So it's best to match cutscene, skip cutscene. This is the first tutorial level. Nothing much to talk about it. Just attack and just throw a bomb. You can't really do anything other than that. This one you just kill yourself. You can't defeat him anyways. It's better to die faster. So one thing to note about changing quality is that you can change your quality using Q. So I just talked to the girl and the farmer guy and this old man. And then you grab a potion. If you want to leave a world, then the fastest way is to pull out the menu using escape and then Go to exit to map and A. So we are going to do level 2 first. So this big 8, we are just going to use a bomb on him. And this part is extremely finicky. So you want to jump and don't move and just hold the direction. Jump, release. The jump button and hold the direction. So like just now, the big ad just died, so I get some free experience over here. Okay. So yeah, I have a few extra ESP already. That's a good sign. So coming right up, we are going to open this chest. So depends on what this chest has, we will decide our route later. So so now when you see a bomb, you want to take the bomb immediately. So the bomb is our priority here. So just now there is a little shortcut there. So for this one. You want to go down here and hit this octopus and then just go jump around it. And then this one you want to get hit by it once and then it will start following you. And then most of the time it will just kill itself like that. Okay. This one you just jump over. And so up until this part, if this app at the like the big app actually hits you, then you need to use the bomb because you are too weak to kill it efficiently right now. So we we'll jump over here, then up until here. Let's just kill this guy for sake. So you want to press. Now you are in low quality, right? So no, you want to press Q twice to change to high quality, and then jump. Then do a that is okay. So important thing on level one, you must grab this strength upgrade so that we can kill the next boss. So when you are here, just do a wall jump and come to here and pull this lever. Hit Q twice. And you see you are now in low quantity and just step on this. So why is that? Because now if you jump, you can actually reach that checkpoint. You don't want that. So the guaranteed way is to use high quality. You can never reach that.
but for now for the rest of the game we are going to use low quality sometimes you can skip that the pit collecting cutscene but I'm not sure how it works exactly so for the <coughs> level ending screen you want to press A and escape oh, awesome. so we are going to, go to level 1 so just now we, we have got a bomb so I can show the one bomb method later in the in the area. So if you don't have bombs, your backup is here. You can grab this chest and hope for some bombs. Or if, if there is still not enough bombs, then just try this one. If you really don't have enough bombs, then just do the no bombs. Strength. So it's important when you fall down there, you want to input an attack so you don't get blown away by the red block. This one is just simple wall jumps. So sometimes you see me try to attack some stuff when I'm jumping because there's a chance to stagger them while doing so. Except for this one, if you didn't get stagger them, they will do two hits to you most of the time. So for this one, I want to try and do an air hit and try to try to fling them, but no, not like that. That like that. So sometimes this can happen. And you can get some free XP provided if you don't have level 1 yet. But this run I'm extremely lucky, so I got level 2 before I even enter the second part of the world. Normally, you get level 1 at 1 4 or 1 3. So come here and talk to the crew. Talk to this boy and talk to the old man and immediately quit to the old map to the one four. Okay, there is a little skip right here. So I want to wall jump up here and wall jump and wall jump and press down. When you are sticking to the wall, pressing down will immediately bring you to the closest floor. This is good to reset your position. Sometimes you don't want to go jump away from, from your from your destination like that. You want to press down. If you are let's say if you are just doing like this, then sometimes you can get that as well. Yeah, you will jump up here. If you press down, you will be here. So normally, I will level up at this level if in normal circumstances, but since I've already leveled up, there is no need to worry about that. One thing to not about is that you don't want to level up at the same time you are on this jump pad because there is a chance to soft lock if you are doing that so. this, this level is pretty straightforward let's go around and pull the levers So I want to do an air attack there, see the small egg gets fling away. So I want to go to here. I want to skip the second one and to the left, the right one and to the center one. So now you can see it is directly directly in the middle of the tools 
like that is a cutscene skip. But I am not sure, really not sure how it works. I'm just smashing space and I'm approaching it. Let's get that. Entry. This one is not too much. Just turn it around. <coughs> if you are close to leveling up, then attacking this red block is a good way to get some extra level in, some extra experience in. So now the situation is kind of risky because I actually don't have any potions and I've already leveled up. So for this one, you want to jump. Okay, let's try again. So you want to jump when it's far because a small app has a really big hitbox on its front but a small hitbox on its back. And also for this one, you want to, when you are close to the jump pad, you want to press jump so you don't stop at the launch pad. This one, you want to fall down in the middle and try to get as much coin as you can, but that doesn't really matter. Now to one friend. Okay, so for this one, you just want to trigger all the red blocks and just come over here so this one you want to do it the way I am like just jumping on the this weak rock blocks and then just jump over them if you are unlucky you will be blown away by the red blocks so this jump it can be done on first try but it's just very tricky and needs some practice. And I'm a little bit under practice for this game. Oh, you don't want to jump here. So I just press because. If you are sticking to this wall and you jump, you definitely hit that spike. So I want to input down. Just ignore that switch and in the level. So here is where the bomb, the extra bomb matters. So if you have the bomb, you can just throw this bomb and <laughs> let's come down here. So now you see why the bomb is actually important. Because I've made a lot of like little pit stops. So I have actually quite a lot of coins. 559. Five, I am one bomb away, actually one bomb away from getting six bombs. But in a real run, it is quite rare to get this much amount of money. So now we have four bombs exactly. Actually if you only get one extra bomb right there, you only have three bombs. So these six bombs should be enough. Right. So as you can see there I only I get exactly nine bombs just in order extra bomb. And this is what exactly we need. And 
Do not buy potions at this point. That is very important to set up the next developments for the next area. You want to talk to this guy there, so you unlock an a level after this area. So now move on to the first boss, technically the hardest boss. So we are just going to spam that, and when you do the laser, you just have to jump away and just mash the bomb like that. Grab the grab ruby and <coughs> we go to the second area, the snow area. So two one, <coughs> we are introduced with the this giraffe neck purple. Okay, so in this level, there are two ways to go about it. The easy way is to do this, to do the tree hook, or you can attempt this one. As you can see, you have, you kind of have enough height. Yeah, like that. It's kind of difficult. So this one you just want to come here. Now you are really close to uh, level up, so I would prefer I don't level up here, but because you can set up for a death abuse coming up, and after a death abuse, we can just level up and increase and refill some of our HP. But for this one, you want to run straight over them, don't get sucked by those little autos. Come over here, put the switch. Hold on. So for this one, you want to come here and then wait for this explode and hold on here. So, for the second level, it is very important to get this max health first. Because in the third area, we are going to. We only barely have enough help to tank two shots. This is a kind of tricky jump, even for Kedra, especially for Kedra play troops. So let's end the level. So we move on to the snow town, snow din, snow venue. Talk to the monkey and this girl, and want to talk to them and remember to press down and talk about the orphan, which is the, actually the boy at the first area. So now we unlock a new area and we are going to leave, to leave the wall map and we are going to come here first the 2 five. So coming around is the coolest death abuse I think So we get this checkpoint right here And then when we come out here We want to get stuck by this auto They deal a lot of damage really quickly and get this Okay, come on. Okay, so now we are here again. Normally it spawns a lot more auto, but not sure why that doesn't work today. Maybe it's because the flying red block doesn't hit me. So this one you just want to mash up. Not sure why but it works like that. For this one, you just want to get rid of the great block first, then just go to the exit. Okay. 
that's not much more. Now I'm gonna solve this cycle. Great. So normally you want to do the earn the grapple right there, but don't get hit by the spike. So this one you need to wait for this platform because you This is not that awesome of a showcase. But you can still check out my latest PB for the movement. So now we are here. And we want to go to shop because we want to go to the end of the town and talk to them. And now we have two diamonds. Normal so for now you can actually depends on how much how much money you have so normally i will get like two potions if possible and then we want to get this rainbow palette the rainbow laser but we won't be using it like in the moment so there is uh, this text box coming right up. so the best way to clear it is to jump and then press D because you can you cannot use the laser on air. So now you want to die here because they are annoying. You want to use the iframes to time your jumps. Then so Walking up, you want to hold up. There's like some free stuff. You want to hold up so you can jump in immediately. This one is just jumping. Wait for a second. Jump. So there's a cycle you can make here. I can actually go. Oh. So we want to catch the cycle actually before it. It's too close to the to the edge of the wall. Also press F for that snow egg. So up to here there are oldest movements. So nothing much to there is no trick to it. <laughs> Just some practice. So this one is probably my most comfortable level in the in the entire game. Probably one of the easiest. So you can ignore that platform, just bounce over there. Wait, for some reason my I lost control a bit right there. So for this one, you want to get this guy killed. And the timing is when the axe, when the first axe approaching is approaching you, then you jump and don't stop. That is the key to it. So this one just dodge this axe when they are coming at you.
Okay, so now we are forced to come back, go back to here, press A, and then talk to the monkey guy and leave. So, this is where we are going to use our laser. This one is still a little bit tricky. So I'll do it. Okay, so we are all right. Another important thing is that when you come in and go into this level, you want to make sure you have two bombs or more because we need to clear some nasty enemies right here. So you jump down here and just use the bomb, get the double kill because it is not worth it to deal with it. This one. Let's get that jump over here. And the world boss over here want to look at that egg, do a pound, and then use your laser, charge your laser, and then time it and jump. So the laser hits the egg and the other enemies above. So after this point, we are going to level up strength on it. So we don't really care about half anymore. As you can see, the laser actually hits this enemy right there. So I want to throw a bomb here just to kill that octopus other and try to survive. As you can see, most of this game works on cycles, so it can be a little bit difficult to explain while catching all the cycles. So you don't need that platform over there. You want to grab this chest for some extra goodies, but... So for this one, when you are spawning in, you want to immediately go right and jump so you can catch this platform and save a lot of seconds. So now we we are we have unlocked the boss for this area. Coming here this is actually the easiest boss. You just kind of need to hold A and try to clear. For this first phase, you want to just clear anything out of your way so you don't take extra damage. And after this, when the boss actually spawns, you just need to hold A and make sure every bullet hits. It's, that's all. Very. The, well designed boss. Right, so now we unlock the giraffe black ability. And before we move on, we want to make sure we grab some potions. Three potion is pretty good. So we can get an extra bomb there. It is preferable if you have three potions when you are going to the next level because the enemy here is hit pretty hard. So when you see there are over six traps you want to use a black. Actually over four. So you want, you don't want to hit that open spike when 
token so we want to bomb this guy and use laser on him and just bomb this guy so now you can see I actually spent one portion already so for this one you just want to laser all of them so you can just hit it and or the anything works just don't get hit When things go really bad, sometimes you use up all the three potions, but it's just for safety. So let's go to here and talk to this sheriff and the miner and the cow. So you can use this try to supply to reveal some supplies. Here, we're going to treat it. So, for this one, you come here. Actually, we can use a death abuse, but it's pretty risky to not have any potions coming for this upcoming areas. So now you can see why I need I need to level up one level of HP. If you see when I get hit how much fresh I take. Okay, so spawn in you just want to laser it and then same for this one. I am pretty sure there are a lot of like lasers that can be don't really need to use laser for some mobs but I didn't really spend too much time routing this game. This route just comes together pretty nicely. So and also I didn't really try to improve it much since this is just for my casual play troops. For this one, you just raise it. You really don't want to get close to the big cactus guys that are really deadly, especially at our health. So you want to, if possible, you want to get rid of him, the small cactus, and kill the laser there. So coming right up is another death abuse. Oh no, not this one. Later. So for this part, there isn't really much. There isn't really a lot to talk about now. For this area, most of them is just movement and throwing bombs and using lasers. So for this guy, you want to you want to try to take as less damage as you can as a rule of thumb. So for this guy, you want to just throw a bomb. If you don't have enough bombs or you are scared, then just use a laser. It's still the same. Get this checkpoint. I miss the cycle, so it's kind of awkward now. Sometimes there's a leg. A big cactus right right here if you're unlucky. But 
If that's happening, then just throw a bomb. If you don't have bombs, then this um, is basically we're basically done. You either you either have to deal with it or just try your luck and walk past it. So also, I I miss this cycle. It's kind of awkward to recover. So laser over there. So we can always do the wall jump from here, but you can also do a wall jump from here if you are good enough. It is actually possible, but I can't really get it very consistently because it depends on the little upward slide you get from wall jumping, so it's kind of inconsistent. So I'll just for the sake of this tutorial, I'll just do the normal way. This one just carefully jump over here. And for this one, you really need to pull out your glider as soon as you are at the max height because it's quite close. And then from here, from here, you want to use laser for everything up until the checkpoint. And depends on actually, I still need to laser that one large cactus, but I feel like I have enough potions, so I didn't do that. So come here, you want to talk to the sheriff first. You want to. Use A to enter town, talk to the sheriff, and this one. And you want to exit to the map and enter the shop. And now we have a lot of coins, as you can see. We have like 500, so we can grab some bombs and potions. Three potions is normally enough. And you want to come back from back to the town from the shop and talk to the prisoner and this one again and then uh, we can go to the world map and enter 3-4 so death abuse is coming up so first laser of the guys and skip this checkpoint there is no recovery if you accidentally touch that so just want to come here and also you want to skip that checkpoint and you want to just jump over here to yourself now you are brought back here so now we just proceed So now from here is all movement. Then I'll show what happened. So from here you want to solid glide down here and you want to land between them and toss the bomb. So you can actually land on them. Normally I shouldn't be falling into a piece right there. And this cycle is kinda you can only do this from here. So dodge these bullets carefully. So now I'm going to do a laser. So normally we'll end up at the level 4 strength. So the concept is whenever you see a big cactus, just laser. At least that is my concept.
So, one, one, two, three. You see the third wheel coming and stand here. Wait for one, two, and three. As a kid, this room actually messes me up a lot. Now, the last actual level. So normally I will do for safety I will do a laser right there. So this one you just want to aim at the platforms and just jump. Right. So for here, if you are unsure, then there is a treasure trough right here. You can actually come over here and laser at the cactus and then just grab a lot of goodies right here. But I've already routed that out, so yeah. Unless something unlucky really happens, we will have enough bombs in everything. So put this lever and just death abuse to this checkpoint. And there's another death abuse coming up. So we'll get this checkpoint. Put this lever. <coughs> And we'll come over, over here and skip that checkpoint. Pull this lever and jump to the left. Now we'll go back. So, another death abuse coming up. So, take care of that red block. And glide all the way here. Put this lever and then just kill yourself. So by doing this, let's try it. You can actually bridge here, and then you can avoid an, an encounter with the big cactus. How oh, that's unlucky. Normally you can get that switch before it touches you. So as you can see right there, how deadly is a big cactus. Laser. And laser. For some reason this block won't be destroyed for some weirdest reason. Excuse me, so just come over here and just jump up. You really don't want to have anything to do with that. You can pick up some of these chests, but as you see, if you are holding down, then most of the time you are going to miss that. So you can just don't bother about them. And great. Now that's the last level. And we are moving on to the final boss of the game. So to the shop and just grab as many bombs as you can. Because we are quite lucky for this run where we can get a lot of bombs, but you can get at least 11 bombs from, from this run. Even though you only have two bombs, just now I started with five, so it is quite a safe, really safe this round. But this only works when you are level four strength and eleven bombs. So let's skip that. And this is one pure RNG part. Sometimes the platform just you want to jump like that. This is just pure RNG, huh? Actually, sometimes the platform just won't work, or they are like extreme at extremely awkward positions. 
So it's good if you have a few potions ready. Because I'm taking a lot of damage right there. I have four potions now, I have two on me. So for this, you're just going to spam bombs. But you also need to be careful because he can teleport around. This time he didn't. And the 11 bombs is just for safety because he can teleport around. But I didn't. Yeah, I used about 11 actually. So for this one, just don't care, just whatever. Just press A. Now we are done with the game. And that is Super Adventure Tiles, any percent.